News Update. And a good Thursday afternoon to you. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas NBC 10 update. The video you're seeing is the damage just outside of El Dorado in the Parker's Chapel area. Witnesses say they saw a tornado down trees and flooding. Tops sheared off and other, tree, other trees and damages to homes. Damage to property can also be clearly seen in the aftermath. Many people reported being trapped in their own driveway because of fallen debris. As we get updates from the National Weather Service today, stay with us at myarklamas.com for those details. The National Weather Service has confirmed that an EF1 tornado hit Waldo, Arkansas Wednesday morning. That tornado uh, was uh, touching down around 1030 near Columbia Lake. It snapped and uprooted trees near North Mill Street and North Cottage Street just before North Olive Street. Damaged the awning of a church, knocked over some power poles, also snapping several more trees throughout Waldo. The tornado had peak winds of 100 miles per hour. In a local crime alert, a Monroe man is being accused of shooting a three-year-old child. Monroe police responded to a shooting on Dunlap Street on January the 7th. The victim was transported to a local hospital and remains in critical condition. An arrest warrant has been obtained for 21-year-old Ricky Rogers. Rogers is wanted for second-degree cruelty to a juvenile and illegal use of a weapon. Well, happening today, the city of West Monroe is seeing input for transportation improvements. You can share your thoughts in today's meeting. It's all part of the RAISE grant the city is applying to help improve the safety of uh, the people in West Monroe. The city is seeking input for transportation improvements in tonight's meeting for the River Bend residents. It starts around 6.30 at the West Monroe Community Center. That's over on 5th Street. Another candidate has put his hat in the ring for the race for governor. Richard Nelson joins the line of Republicans who want to be the governor. He brings a more moderate approach and is the youngest candidate in the race as of now. It's a mandible. Nelson has been a member of the State House of Representatives since 2019. Before that, he worked for the U.S. Department of State, and he was a diplomat around the world. Here at home, he has focused on student literacy and reforming the state's tax code. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Trey Tonneson. We're seeing a few changes atmospherically today following the cold front yesterday. It pushed right over the Arkham Mist, provoking storm chances and some decent rainfall along with some wind. But as we look forward, we'll notice that the next two days should be mostly dry, but by Saturday, more rainfall moves into the Arkham Mist. Sunday clears out a little bit, and we should see decently clear skies for most of Sunday afternoon and Monday as well before more rain moves in Tuesday. But today, temperatures a little bit cooler than they were yesterday as far as our highs. Low to mid 60s is going to be your highs today. Clouds clear as the day rolls along, the breezy conditions continue on into tonight. Overnight lows much lower than they were earlier this week, but still going to remain mostly clear with winds out of the north compared to the south-southwest last night. But on to your seven-day forecast. Here are those next two days of sunny skies and clear conditions. On to Saturday, that rain builds just a bit, but then it doesn't stick around too much for Sunday. Most of Sunday going to be dry and sunny. Same exists for Monday before rain builds and continues into the midpoint of your next week for Tuesday. Maybe a little bit Wednesday, but probably not much. You've got a decent amount of sunshine on the way for the most part to note over the next two days, Thursday and Friday, going to stay mostly sunny to clear and temperatures not going to be too bad either. I want to see them a little bit cooler than earlier this week with highs in the low 60s today and upper 50s tomorrow. Stay on top of every news story in the Arkhamus. Make sure you download the NBC10 News app. All you have to do is search KTVE in the app, Apple Store or Google Play. Well, that's it for our Thursday midday update. NBC10 News Daily continues now. Do something kind today. God bless.